Hey guys! It's been a while since we've done one of these, but welcome back to my kitchen where today we will be making the takoyaki pop and cooking. And I'm interested to try this one because normally, or at least in my experience, the savoury pop and cookings have not been great. And this is a savoury pop and cooking. But I've heard good things about this one, so I, I live in hope. So without further ado, let's get started. We've got all our instructions on the back of the packet. And in here we've got a few different powder packets. We've got our stir. We've got a toothpick. And we've got some moulds and mixing trays. And the first thing it tells us to do is cut up the moulds so that we can get in at them. So I'm going to do that now. And we're done. Okie doke. The first actual thing that we're going to make is the little octopus tentacles. So for that we need the pink shrimp meat packet and this little tray with a music note in it. And we're going to mix the packet together with one scoop of water. It definitely smells savoury so Here's hoping it's tasty when it's cooked. Okay, I think that's pretty well mixed in. It's it's weird, it's got the sort of like look and consistency of a big hunk of bubble gum. So next thing is we're going to split this into eight pieces and use these little tentacle moulds to make our octopus tentacles. Okay, that's not too bad. There you go. Squish and fold down the edges so it just has the right shape. There we go. One down, seven to go. So now we've got all our little octopus pieces. Some of them came out of the moulds looking a little bit better than others, but all in all, I think we did quite well there. I'm going to move these back over to the side and we'll start on the next thing, which is... Now this I believe is supposed to be like mayonnaise, so next we're going to stand this up in the container, cut off the top, put some water in and mix it in the bag. before it's like all uh, mixed together properly, it kind of just looks like really curdled yogurt. So I'm going to spare you the visual on that one. It does smell kind of like mayo though, so that's a bonus. It's very yellow though. Okay, it's looking a lot smoother now. Like, I don't know how well you can see in there, but. I think, I think 
we're good. Clean off the spoon on the bag. Put that down there for now. And then we have to fold down on the dotted lines and leave it to the side while we start on the batter. And the batter then goes into this tray again but with the big orange packet which I've just thrown away. And this one needs two scoops of water. Okay. I always love watching the powders change colour when you add the water. It's, it's just interesting to me seeing the reaction. I think that's nice and smooth. Wipe off the spoon as best I can. Put that to the side and now we have to pour it into the takoyaki mould and add our little tentacles to each one. Okay, let's see if I can do this evenly. And now this is the bit that I'm probably most nervous for, uh, which is we need to microwave this. But if you can see on the packet, it gives you instructions for 500 watt and 600 watt microwaves. I'm pretty sure ours is a lot more powerful than that. So it says here you have to microwave it for 40 seconds if it's 500 watts. So I'm going to put it in for 20 and see how it looks. Wish me luck. <laughs> Well, they've definitely risen. Oh, feel quite hot. Yeah, those look about right. I might let them cool off a little, see how they look, and maybe put them in for another 10 or so seconds. Mm, that one's still a little bit gooey. Yeah, I'll definitely put these back in for at least another five seconds. So, another 10 seconds in the microwave later, and I think these are done. So, while these are off to the side cooling, we need to do our takoyaki sauce. Apparently, this stuff tastes kind of like Worcestershire sauce. And I like Worcestershire sauce, so, you know, if all else fails, I'll just drown it in this. So, it's this packet, a little star mould and one scoop of water. Mm, that definitely smells like Worcestershire. We're gonna clean off the spoon before I mix this. Thinking this one might have been easier to mix in the bigger uh, mixing pot, but oh well. This is the one we were told to use, so might as well use it. Or maybe I'm just not being careful enough. Could be that too. Okay, 
it's starting to thicken up a little now, which is much nicer consistency than the just very watery stuff we were getting when we started mixing. Okay, I think that's about as good as we're going to get. So pop that to the side and I'll plate these up and then we can do the taste test. I didn't do a very good job of piping that out, but oh well. So, this is my takoyaki. To be honest, it's like not a bad representation of what's on the box. But uh, I guess this is the moment of truth. Time to see what this actually tastes like. I'll take this one that has like a fair bit of mayo on it. So I get a good taste of everything in it. Here we go. Okay. It's decidedly not bad. Like uh, the little tentacle pieces taste kind of like a uh, kind of like prawn crackers. The batter doesn't taste of a whole lot. It's just like unsweetened pancake batter I would compare it to. The, the sauce is like a very very weak Worcestershire sauce and the mayonnaise stuff is it tastes kind of like just sweet mayo so yeah if you're wanting a savoury popping cooking that doesn't make you want to puke this isn't a bad choice Like, it's not great, but I'm probably going to finish these, like, taste-wise, they're decent enough. But as always with popping cooking, it's not really for the taste that you make them. Uh, and I like that this had, like, a lot of steps in it, and a lot of, like, different things to mix together, and a little bit of assembly at the end, a uh, bit of presentation. But yeah, I think this was a really good kit. I had a lot of fun doing this, so... I don't think any of the steps were particularly difficult, so if you've never done one of these before, I think this would be a good one to pick up if you can get it. Yeah. I'm gonna continue eating these, but you don't need to watch that, so I guess I'll see you on the next one. If you want me to do more popping cooking or like candy videos, then let me know in the comments and I will get some more in and do some more of this. And I will see you in the next video. Bye! -bye.